Okay, but like, why do I low-key have a semi for this building? So as you've already seen, I've uh, I've made a new building. Same to you too. Uh, I've made a new building, and um, I actually really like it. It's kind of the most effort I've ever put into a building in Minecraft. Um, so yeah, I, I really do like it. Um, it took me ages to build. So yesterday, uh, apologies, there was no episode yesterday, and uh, there was also no stream. Um, basically, I was resetting my sleep schedule, and I did not feel. Uh, I could be energetic enough to record, edit, uh, or, or a stream even. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, I just came on here and uh, I built this. And it took me genuinely from about, I think it must have been about 7am till maybe like 3pm. I think it was purely just building. Uh, and then after that, I started doing a little bit of modded stuff, you know. Um, this is the main reason I built this. Uh, house or this building um, I, I don't know, I kind of want to call it a factory that's kind of what I had in mind um, when I was designing it well I say designing it, I was getting inspiration from pictures and videos and then kind of threw a few ideas together uh, to make it um, but yeah I kind of wanted to go like a factory look um, and then basically what I've done is I wanted to get started with Pneumaticraft which is uh, this lovely mod here um, so yeah basically built a new house uh, to start Pneumaticraft so, um, that means because I was on here for a significant amount of time yesterday, all off stream and off recording, I have a lot to catch you guys up with. Um, I mean, the building's a building, you know, you've seen it, um, that's fine. Um, but I think I'm the first person on the server to get started with Pneumaticraft, um, mainly because, well, I guess I'm the person who added it to the server, uh, but hopefully a few other people get into it. But let me start talking you through this whole process. And the entire process starts right here. So in Pneumaticraft, it's all built around pressure, right? And basically these machines here, uh, when supplied with uh, coal, and in this case, uh, a redstone signal, they will, well, they'll turn on, and then they'll compress air and turn that into um, compressed air, right? Which is basically pressure, right? And it'll build up pr said pressure in within itself and any connected tubes. Now it's important to, uh, to know that if you break one of these pipes, Pressure will escape, right? So we're now losing pressure. And this mod is kind of uh, centered around uh, not doing that, really, essentially. It's uh, all about efficiency and building up just as much pressure as you need and then using it and, you know, not not doing this and not leaking pressure. But you might be curious uh, what we use pressure for exactly. And we have a bunch of machines here uh, which will use pressure. Um, Basically, you've got the UV light box here, which uh, I, I don't really understand why it uses pressure. Uh, I'm sure someone can explain it. But it basically turns an empty PCB into, um, I don't know, I guess a pressurized PCB. Uh, basically, one ready for etching, right? Uh, and you etch it, you throw it in etching acid, which is right here. It takes about five minutes. I think it takes like ten in a light box. Um, and basically, you get an unassembled circuit out of it. It's uh, it's quite a weird process. Um, here we have a charger station, which actually makes a lot of sense. Um, items from this mod use pressure uh, as kind of like their energy, right? So like a battery, if you imagine. Um, so you got an Amazon tablet here, which you can use to order stuff. It's actually very neat. It's like instead of um, using villagers to trade, you can trade with drones. It's uh, it's quite neat. Um, but that uses pressure and in order to charge it, you put it right in here. And then basically this item will go up to the, the pressure of, uh, of the network, right? So the pressure is shared across everything that's connected. So if you notice everything that has or shared this pipe will have 2.8 or roughly 2.8 pressure. It's now going down because it's bringing this Amazon tablet up to 2.7. And now that it's there, it will stay there. Uh, for example, if uh, if the pressure decreases, uh, pressure will actually come out of the tablet, and you know it will equalize across everything. And then we have this thing, the uh, the pressure chamber, right? Uh, ignore these blocks on the bottom. I just use those as stands. It's just this three by three. Um, 
basically you use this to well pressurize things right uh so for example you can use it to make compressed iron ingots which is like the center ingredient of this mod it's uh, it's a very core uh ingredient and uh, as you can see i don't really have much of it right now so um it's actually a perfect time to make some more so what we're doing here is uh, we're using uh, i think it's a pressure chamber interface to um send items in yeah uh and then we take items out here and this will automatically put items into this chest uh and then here we've got a little plastic setup right so this well it, actually ignore this for now um but we've got three machines back here we have uh, a refinery then we have a thermo pneumatic processing plant and then we have a plastic mixer right and these three machines combined will or can be used to make plastic for example right which is again another very key uh, ingredient of this mod um and basically what it does is it uses oil and heat so if we uh if we connect these this is one thing i really like about pneumaticraft is you just use a wrench and simply right click uh, a connection you can connect and disconnect it it's very nice uh, but basically what this will do this is a vortex tube it will basically heat up one side and cool down the other side so if we had a block right here it would be cooled down but the refinery is currently being heated and as you can see, once it gets up to 100 degrees C, it starts making LPG. And as you can see, it's got a cool little uh, heat effect or smoke effect. Uh, and then we use the LPG uh, along with coal in a thermo pneumatic processing plant to make uh, liquid plastic. Again, this requires heat as well to turn LPG into plastic. Um, and we actually have enough to make uh, about a thousand or one bucket of liquid plastic. So we may as well turn it on. And once again, once again, it's up to temperature. There we go. We'll see it processes and makes liquid plastic. And then from that liquid plastic, well, you guess it. We uh, we put it into a plastic mixer and it makes plastic. Uh, it also needs some dyes to get the color of plastic you want. Uh, as you can see, I'm slowly running out of red. But yeah, this is a pretty nice little plastic setup. And then that brings us on to the production line. Basically, what it says is a kind of complex multi block. Uh, you know using different items here or different i don't know tools uh to basically make different products on this assembly platform right um i haven't really gotten too much into this but the main reason why i have it is to basically get rid of the uv light box and the etching acid because you can basically make unassembled pcbs from empty pcbs purely using this you don't need to do the whole uh, expose it to UV light and then throw it in acid you yeah just use this and it's very nice um, and it's a lot quicker than doing that process it's kind of um, this is like an idle process right you put it in here give it some time come back take it out and then put it in there um, but then yeah this does it in somewhat real time you can upgrade it as well it, it really does need a uh, speed upgrades it's very slow um, but I definitely recommend getting this as early as possible it takes a lot uh, each part of it will use a lot of uh of plastic but it is very worth getting as you can see from here we have the printed circuit board which is made from an unassembled pcb which uh yeah as as shown here you can do it in this kind of multi-block here or the whole etching acid process um but yeah and these things as well they use uh, a lot of plastic so you may you may ask uh why would you go through all of this effort uh just to basically what seems just to get to different crafting recipes which uh, are kind of more effort as well well for me at least the answer is this All right now you might have noticed on the uh on the walkthrough in uh when i walked in earlier these doors open automatically uh i'm not right clicking them or anything they are purely just waiting for me to be nearby looking at the door and then i can walk through right um sadly currently these doors will open to any player right and and yeah you may notice um this is actually a, a block but you can camouflage it and um it's completely hidden which again i really like this mod for this right here is actually a pressure tube uh so you see these things here um yeah well this block right here is actually a pressure tube it's just camouflaged um yeah it's, it's, it's very nice i love how this mod can hide things so well um but yeah these doors are currently open into any player and uh, they do get kind of annoying if you're too close to them they do just open um uh, you can set them to nearby and look in but uh yeah it can still happen quite a lot um 
but yeah basically once you get into the security upgrades of this uh of this system set up a security station uh which has a nice little like hacking mini game i guess um if players try to hack you and stuff it's quite nice but yeah once you set up a security station you can basically set who can go through these doors I believe you can set it to people can go through different doors or like you can do like levels of access I'm not too sure um, I haven't experimented with that but yeah I'm very much looking forward to getting a security upgrade or security station on this house and setting it so only I can walk through these doors and no one else now that being said uh, there's there's a lot more to this mod than just doors uh, believe me um, that is the only part of this mod I've ever gotten into. I think I've been on a server three different times with this mod um, and only ever made pneumatic doors and then left it there. Uh, mainly because like, the server tends to die by the time I get to it. Like there's A lot of people lose interest in the server. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen this time and I can actually get into more of this mod because there is a lot to it, uh, especially drones. Um, this, this mod adds drones. I can't find it right here. Um, yeah, and these things are very interesting. You've got like harvesting drones, logistic drones, and then you've got your bog standard drone. Uh, you've got drone interfaces. Yeah, there's if you're into drones, there's a whole side of this mod uh, to drones. Um, I don't know how well they play on servers though. As I said with the Amazon tablet, um, you can basically trade with drones, right? And you need like a, a chest and a tank uh, to put items in. As you can see, I've got a chest and tank pretty much in the open. I know it's close to my building, but it's not too bad. Um, and drones really struggle to find these two. I don't know why. They'll like sit like in the sky like there for, for ages. They just won't be able to find this chest. I don't know why. Um, I've kind of put it down to, I don't know, server struggles with drones. Um, I'm not too sure. So I'd, I wouldn't recommend dealing with the drones if you're on a server. Um, but one thing that sounds very interesting to me and I haven't actually checked out yet is the aerial interface basically it allows you to remotely send items to your inventory right which i really like this idea it kind of reminds me of factorio if you've ever played that where you can get like logistics drones to deliver to you once you're inside a certain range um and yeah needless to say i very much want to get one of these to constantly keep my inventory filled with i don't know maybe torches and food um maybe a stack of cobble as well or you know if you're like building something um well this is like my plans for it anyway say i'm building something right and i know exactly uh what materials i need to build so for example if i was building this base uh i would need bricks glass and uh spruce wood right and a, a lot of them at that uh i don't even want to know how much clay i went through to make this um it took a lot of harvesting but imagine you've got, I don't know, maybe auto processes set up to get clay. I don't even know if that's possible, but I guess quarries, right? Um, and then you have auto crafting to turn that into brick or individual bricks and then brick blocks. And then you could use this to send it to your inventory uh, remotely. You know, you wouldn't have to keep going back to your base. Said materials would just keep appearing in your inventory, um, which would be huge. So I'm not really uh, too sure where I want to go with this building actually, um, because as I said, I, I've kind of designed it like like a factory, right? So I don't really want to make it my permanent base, because you know I can't imagine putting a bed in a factory, really. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I want to completely move out of this little shack and then like into there. I think what I'm going to do is keep that like my mod, like building, right? So you've got like a new Minecraft room here. We'll probably get a new Minecraft building in there as well. Uh, as you can see, the machines in this mod are quite big, so I might need the extra space of uh, that room there. Um, but then upstairs, we could do we could do like a, quite a few things. Um, I don't really know what yet. I don't know what mods I want to get into on the server. Um, but this could be a good uh, a good place to set up any. Uh, I don't know, maybe like a full fledged factory upstairs or. Um, or even use the complete remaining space as a, as a factory, like automatic production of some kind, maybe a Jaffa Cake factory, I'm not really sure how much space that would take up. Um, but yeah, I think what I definitely want to do is, uh, between now and next video, is run a cable from AE2, uh, Applied Logistics, um, probably from the, the controller down here, right? So take a cable out of here and go like straight to that place with it. And then hopefully have like a, a little, I don't want to call it like an applied setup over there, but maybe just like an access terminal uh, so I can access everything in here. Um, save me running backwards and forth when I need stuff. 
would be very helpful as well as um those compressors you saw um basically there's one in the floor uh if i just run over here um yeah so i want to keep these guys filled up with coal right and as i said there's one in the floor uh for these doors uh I just quickly i think it's this block yeah uh so down here there's a there's a compressor which uh, I kind of need to make sure is always filled with coal, right? Uh, you can see I like using tiny coal. Uh, this is basically because uh, these machines run on redstone or run with redstone, right? So, uh, but when a signal stops, right? Let's say, um, I don't know, if we put this to four, right? So when this redstone signal goes off, this still runs this cycle here, right? So if it's burning, say, a block of coal, it will burn for a long time, even after the redstone signal has turned off. Um, I like using tiny coal because it basically means it will run for way less time once the signal turns off and we will get very close to whatever this is essentially. Um, it also prevents us from potentially blowing up uh, this entire system, which we really don't want. Someone remind me to uh, to get turrets set up. Um, yeah, there's there's a lot of mobs around here. Uh, someone was telling me, I think it was CJ, uh, just to light up the area already, um, which I might. Um, there's some very nice items from Pneumatacraft, actually, which uh, can light up items. Which I, oh, sorry, light up items? Light up areas, so I might get into that. Um, but I also kind of want to keep it dark and just throw down some turrets instead, which uh, can kill them. Uh, I think that's a much more fun way of dealing with it. But anyway, guys, I think that's uh, pretty much it for the video. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be moving out of here. I think I'll keep this as a base of operations. And then have, like, different buildings around me dedicated to different mods. So, new Craft and some other stuff. And then, I don't know, maybe, uh, there's maybe like a farming mod over here. I don't know, mystical agriculture, maybe. Oh, oh they pierced. They... <gasps> one made it back to the portal, but one didn't. Wait, is he going to die? I'm so confused. Okay, anyway, right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Are we gonna play now? Ready for the show? I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you gotta go. Man, I'm on the chase now, leave me on my own. I got a chance to break now.